Hi, this is Ruth Schmuff from Be Deck to Be Dazzled, and today we are going on a trip to the hair salon. We are going to make big, wonderful curls for the siren. So with this siren, we are using impressions, two strands doubled in our needle to make four. I open my skein of impressions, unfold the loop, cut it at the end, and that's what I consider a working length. It's a little long, but it works for this. So I take two of those, double them in my needle to make four, and tie a knot at the opposite end. I'm going to bring my needle up wherever I want to start a curl. I'm gonna leave the knot on the back. Needle up. Needle back down in an adjacent hole so that we have a loop and then we just start twisting. There's lots of other stitches that are very similar to this. A corkscrew stitch is very similar. Um, bullions have a similar look, but these we want to be loose and fluffy because let's face it, she's swimming around in the water so her hair is not perfect. So once you've twisted it enough, you just start pulling your needle through. And that definition of what is enough is completely subjective. So just twist it as much as you want and see what look you get. Once you've twisted, let your needle drop on the back so that you get the curl out of it. And bring your needle up where you want the base of this curl. And you'll see I'm coming straight up through the loop. Now, I want these to be kind of loose and messy, so don't panic when it looks like it's gonna be a hot mess. Just pull it through, and at this point, you can wiggle these curls around. So you're just gonna make it however you want it to look and sink your needle again. So some of my curls are two strands of the same color, doubled in the needle to make four. These larger ones are three strands, doubled in the needle to make six. And in those cases, I used multiple colors. So you're just gonna keep building these up, put some here, put some there, jump around on her head. Don't get bogged down and tacking them down yet. You'll see all of mine are still loosey-goosey. I can move them wherever I want. And that's what I want for now because we're just gonna pile a bunch of these on here until we get the look we want. We can fill in open spaces with straight stitches. And then once we have them where we want them, we'll take a single ply of impressions and tack them, tack them down. The other thing I'm doing, you can see over here, it's sort of a little, again, a hot mess up here. I'm just gonna bring my needle up and park it I do cut my needle off, otherwise I'd have 50 needles going by the time we're done. And then when this is all finished, I can use these as my tacking ones. I can flip it all over at one time and end them all off. So they will be ended off behind her hair, but for now, rather than making one curl and ending it off, and one curl and ending it off, I'm just putting them all up there. So that's how we're gonna make her hair. Hope you love it. She has a super cute little braid coming down on the other side. So each girl is going to have different hair and they're going to be a lot of fun. Hope you like it. Bye.